Today we're going to be making bison sausage pasta. You can use spaghetti, you can use any type of pasta that you like, preferably something that's long and preferably something that's low sodium. I chose a pasta that's made with spelt flour and is absolutely sodium free. And we're going to be using a ground bison sausage. You can use any ground meat you like or any sausage you like. Just be sure to ask your butcher for a low sodium version. This is a low sodium uh, ground bison sausage. got a can of no salt added tomatoes. We've also got some fresh herbs, some fresh basil, some fresh parsley, and some dried oregano. As well, we're going to load this up with some fresh garlic and onions for extra punch, some kosher salt that we're going to be watching very, very carefully, fresh pepper, as well as we're going to add some uh, red wine, some Cabernet Sauvignon to the sauce for some extra kick, but this is completely optional. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to chop up some ingredients. I'm going to chop some onion into small dice. We're going to chop the garlic into small slices and we're going to mince up the basil and parsley. A little trick to chopping up basil, lay them all on top of one another, give them a quick roll, and then with your chef's knife, a nice even chop, and you've got shredded basil. So a big splash of olive oil, tablespoon or two. So we're just going to heat the pan to medium and we're going to let the olive oil heat up just till it comes to a very, very gentle smoke. That's when it's ready to go. So as you can see, the onions have softened, they're starting to brown a little bit, they've become nice and translucent. This is the perfect time to add your meat. And if you find that the meat starts to stick to the pan a little bit, just a touch more oil just to make sure that it doesn't stick up. Meanwhile, bring a big pot full of water to a boil. There's a popular misconception that you actually need to salt water for boiling pasta. Not true. You can actually not add any salt at all. You can. A little bit of salt will add a little bit of flavor, but completely optional. As you can see, the meat's done. The onions have nicely browned. What we're going to do now is we're going to deglaze the pan. You can do this with a big splash of water. Of course, if you want to add a nice kick to it, a big splash of red wine. Give that a stir. And all you're going to do now is you're just going to let this simmer away and let some of that alcohol evaporate. So once that's nicely reduced, add your garlic, your basil, and your parsley. And then, another pinch of salt. And a bit of black pepper. So as you can see, our fresh herbs have nicely wilted. This is browning beautifully. We're going to add our dried oregano. And our can of low salt diced tomatoes. So this is about ready to go. This will be 10 times better if it has about 20 or 30 minutes to just simmer away here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it up, I'm going to reduce the heat to low, and let that go while we prepare our pasta. So when your pasta is done, back into the pot, drained off, and then just a tablespoon of oil, and give that a little stir. This is now ready to go. For when you're ready to add your sauce, your pasta is ready. You can either plate up, put your spaghetti onto a plate first and then top it with your pasta sauce, or you can add your pasta sauce directly to the pot and stir it. And that's it. 
that's all it needs. Of course, you can add a little bit of a garnish if you like, a little bit of Parmesan, but note that Parmesan does have some salt in it. So uh, just like it is, it will be perfectly good. A little bit of extra fresh cracked pepper goes a long way. And that's it. You might have noticed that I added salt, and this is a low sodium meal. Well, the fact is, we need salt in pretty much everything we make. Not only does it make it taste good, it enhances the flavor, but we do need some sodium in our diet. The issue is knowing how much sodium you're putting in your food. In this case, it's measured out, I know how much sodium I can put in there, and then I space that out in between. It's important to season as you cook. Avoid putting in all of your salt at the front end or at the finish of your meal. Season in between, at each step, and then taste as you go, because then you can know how much salt is enough, and then you can stop when you're cooking.